Hello, welcome back to Ark Knights. Um, I don't have a lot of time today, so I'm going to just record something simple. I'm going to read all of these six stories from the event to the Grinning Valley because I uh, bought all the information fragments for them. So that'll just be what we do for now. I also have almost everything else bought. Um, and there's still seven days. I've been I've been farming a lot. <laughs> um. Without further ado, let's go back on the truck, and let's do Boiling Point. Bro, what's with the calm music? I hear <clears throat> leaves blooping and bubbling away inside a scalding hot pot. I love that sound. There's the static from Dad's radio, too, and the oldie hawking. Oldie hawking on about sharpening your blades and the sound of the Oot's power plant as it drives. I love all that, too, but I'm not going to hear them anymore. Or, well, I won't soon enough. Here's the fire burning, telling me, hey, chin up. Just chin up a bit. You know, Dad's hoping you will. Actually, I think the fire's a little weak. I'll give it a puff of air. Poof. Eh? What's that sound I hear? Oh? Lands, can you not dink on your bowl? I told you to stop doing that. What if you, don't, if you get on someone's nerves? I'll dink on anything I please. Can I be the boss of my own youth? Besides, with how loud the truck stop is, nobody's going to be pointing fingers at me. Don't make excuses. I I'm bored, mate. You're, ass you're making an awful lot of food today. What's the occasion anyway? I've been waiting ages. I'm starved. I had to make some noise to get the message across to the food. Don't get cold now. We need to wait till Potlid, Potlid to join us for food. Excuses, excuses again. You don't worry about anything. You're like a kid. Says the one that looks like a kid. If you're not that if you're that bored, come help me out in the kitchen. Oh, but you're you're the six star chef here. You're killing it in there, Potlid. Is her name really Potlid? What a name. We stopped calling me Potlid already. What's the red dish here? Oh, that's tomato braised sisty beast. It's fresh from the pot. It'll blow you away. Tomato Bray Sisty Beast with that color? Shouldn't the broth be a little more yellow? Before she can finish her sentence, Alana has already rammed her spoon into the piping hot bowl and scooped an entire slab of Sisty Beast meat into her mouth. The food burns her tongue, but Alana gives the pot lid a thumbs up nonetheless. Hmm. Mm-hmm. It's perfect. That's our truck's six-star chef. <laughs> But the meat you brought back this time is especially fresh. I didn't have to use a lot of seasoning to make it taste good. Really? Looks like the market man gave us the freshest on hand, knowing we're leaving. Guessing it was worth buying it from him for two years. Don't say things like that, Lans. Lans. I think he's been real good to us from the very beginning, going by what you've told me. I'm picturing a kind of short, good-tempered man in a dirty apron, a short, fat, middle-aged man. Yeah, nah. That's not what he looks like. When he stands in front of his shop holding a cleaver, not a single person dares to swipe even a single carrot from the market. <laughs> when you get older, I'll let you walk around town yourself. That reminds me, when was the last time you ha we had tomato braised sisti? The last time? It was probably when we first ate together, and you made the meal yourself. Oh, that does feel like a long time ago. You still remember? Of course. You said cooking's just one of the things I'm good at, but then you made an insanely sour tomato braised sisti. <laughs> How was I supposed to know that tomatoes were gonna go be that sour? The broth was bright and yellow. It should look so tasty. I still remember the look on your face after you gave it a taste. But what did it matter if it helps with our tummies? Flavor comes second. And didn't you finish all of yours? It's not good to waste food. Besides, ah, let's not talk about the past. I don't want to get let the food get cold because you can't stop complaining. I hate the sound of boiling food. I don't know why. This is piping hot. Oh, pot lids lightly touches the bowl and suddenly the braised meat becomes just as piping hot as when it was fresh out of the pot. Amid the rising white steam, Alana's expression grows stern. Hey, didn't we agree to use not to use arts for little things like that? I, but this is the fastest way to warm it up. <laughs> I'm just heating the food up. 
Just a quick use. It's nothing to worry about. Whatever. It's your health, not mine. But as, <laughs> as soon as we get to Iron's Carrot City, we need to find you a teacher who can teach you how to you real proper casting. Come on, tuck in. What are you waiting for? Let me enjoy the view first. You always look so happy when you eat. It puts a smile on my face just watching you. Why is it so wholesome? Potlet takes a cloth and wipes clean the broth that spilled over the bowl, then wipes her hands. She takes a few thick books from the shelf and stacks them on her seat one by one before sitting on top of them. Yeah, I said she looks tiny. Potlet places one arm on the table while her other hand props her up and she looks at Alana with a smile on her face. Whew, we're gonna have to return to the truck when we get to Iron Carrot City and they'll shut the route down forever. Yeah, hmm. Think you'll miss it? Not really. Wormy never gets sad. Well, all right then. In that case, after this route's suspended, do you still want to stay on my truck? After we return it to the company, they'll probably keep it around, though I doubt it'll go to the stops we took before. Hmm, even so, I won't let it get to me. Yeah, nah, -uh, I won't. As long as you're right here by my side, there's nothing to be unhappy about. Oh. Alana reaches out to pat Potlet on the head, her ears twitch in response. <laughs> What's wrong? The, the kind of tickles. <laughs> Why? Okay. Seeing the young cat Cottis's reaction, Alana laughs. Then, then my wonderful, perpetually smiley Potlet help me run some errands later, will ya? Huh? But it's been so long since I've gone into town. You'll be fine. See? I took the safety valve off to make it go faster. And I can't have the company finding that out when they expect the Ute. Oh no. So we need a new safety valve right quick. And we'll also need some daily necessities for a long trip. The workers said they'd bring us some, but I said no. Hmm. The guys at the motor pool know you're leaving? Yeah, but I still have heaps of things that I need to deal with here. If I were to go, I might not be done by tomorrow morning. Do they know of what you're talking, taking me with you? Mm, I suppose. Anyhow, that's why I'm counting on you to take care of that. You're a long, young lady already anyway. And here, Lana passes Potlet a paper scrap with some wobbly writing on it. Sell those things out the front door. What? Sell those things out the front door. We should be able to get some money out of them. As for the rest, follow the shopping list. Here's my purse. Take it with you. I still have one last bit of work to handle. What? So this is the last? Let's divvy up the work and get this done. Divide and conquer. Okay, let's do it. It's wholesome. It's cute and wholesome. Were you expecting to cry? Then the metal crab woke up. It got to its feet, snipped twice, and carved the tower crane into pieces. Everyone took a good look, and turns out all that reinforced concrete didn't make a dent in its shell when everything came crumbling down. Of course, they dropped their shovels and blur torches and ran for their lives. Haha, <laughs> how's that? I heard it's based on a real story. Real people, uh, crab and all. This is what we're showing for tonight's open air movie night over at the Slag Heap. Who was that? Was that Ray? Oh shit, wrong button. Richardson's customer. <laughs> uh, no need to thank me. I've never seen you around, so you have to be new here. Let me go more into the rules of our ball and card games here. Each factory district has different rules, you know that, right? I just want a sand beast. Ahem, <clears throat> fine. I have a few of them in a basket here. Pick whichever you want. All my sand beasts are well trained. They eat and sleep and follow their masters close. You really don't want to talk about anything else? Like fine weather today, isn't it? It's not, <laughs> it's not often we get a day without a sandstorm out here. It makes me work much easier. Watch out! Out of the way! Out of the way! I can't stop! What is she? <laughs> Who's having such a little kid cart all these kid cart all these things? Don't they know the steep goes down slope? Little girl, are you with me? You think you got brain damage? <laughs> oh, I'm okay. I'm not a baby anymore. I'll be fine. Uh, it looks like so much work to pile up the pots and dishes. Now they're all over the ground. The little girl prepares to bend down to pick up the big pot. At the same time, a hand reaches out for it. We'll take a ref reflexive step back. Potlid nervously tugs her own sleeve. Um, miss, I can pick these up myself. You don't have to help me. Okay. Also, thanks for stopping my hand truck there. 
Yeah, you didn't say you wanted to stop, but there's a recycling fa facility up ahead. It wouldn't be good if you crashed into it. Huh? Okay, you have a point. I'm sorry, mister. My things are blocking your shop's entrance. I'll clean it up right away. It's fine, little girl. Take your time. Hmm? Oh, hold on. So this is the Tinny Long Gears General Store. Mister, I'm here to talk business. Business? <laughs> Shouldn't someone be watching you? I don't need her to help me with this. She has her own work to do. We're dividing and conquering. Mm-hmm. All right, wait here a sec. Girl, you picked out a sand beast yet? Let me have another look. <laughs> okay. I'll deal with the little girl first then. Come on, what are you buying? First things first. I need to sell some things before I buy anything. Take a look at these pots and pans, as well as the Reginium <laughs> gas cooker. I'm selling them all. I hear I heard that secondhand kitchenware that's cut well and clean sells for a lot of money. <coughs> a pot so scorched even the tandle's black. A fork with bent teeth and scrap metals sheet metal. You're trying to sell this? With the money I make from selling these and the change in my purse, I know I'll have enough money for a safety valve, an electrode holder, spray paint. How about this? Bring everything you want to buy to the counter. I'll give you a discount and take your wares based on the total price. Whatever's left over, I won't take. Nah, -uh. I have to sell all these things. I can treat you to a cold carrot. <laughs> yeah, okay. It's a deal then. Let's see. This gas cooker is more than enough. Take the rest of that garbage back with you, okay? On second thought, nah. -uh. You're a weird one, little girl. Why are you insisting on selling all those things? If you didn't look like such a nice little bun, I'd be thinking you'd commit some kind of crime and came here to get rid of evidence. <laughs> and let's be real, I don't know you from Bruce. How am I supposed to just offload the garbage you hauled here? What if you turn out to be an infected? Oh. Sun's right in my eyes, you see that? <laughs> now it's depressing. I knew it. An afternoon wasn't going to be enough to sell all of it. Nuh-uh. I told her, and she didn't believe me. All right, I'll have to report back and think of something. Hold on, little one. Who sent you? Huh? Lons, Alana of the Barren Lands. All right, all right. I don't know you, but I do know her. Look at her dumping her work on a little girl like you. Not that I'm surprised. Here, a footstool. That way you can get a better view while I tally the numbers up. Tell her I'll take her things for now. Whenever she gets a day off, she owes me a meal. Huh? Why the change of heart? Hmm, I guess it's fair. I'm not a kid anymore. If I'm asked to do something, I get it done. What's the matter? You're, you're, you're weren't, you weren't happy when I wouldn't talk business and you're also unhappy when I'm taking these off your hands? Huh? Yeah, nah. I've been happy the whole time. Hmm, the safety valve model for that lawns told me to get not on the shelf. Let's see, didn't this model go obsolete ages ago? Ever since the union set the regs, the guidebook's been t full of tips to never buy that junk again. Nuh-uh. I have to go look for it elsewhere. I'll find it, mister. Look after the hand truck for me. She just leaves it with some random dude? Okay. I really need to talk to Alana about this. What about you, miss? Have you picked one yet? <laughs> or do you have something else in mind? I forgot about her. Is that Ray? That's I think that's Ray. What do I even do with you? Give me this banner. I'll do it. I know my you better than anyone else. Hey, you hired me for this, Alana. You want to save yourself some money? Come out and say it. I'm not always tight on money like your broke ours. I'm no alcoholic, and I don't drive my truck so bad that it breaks down every other day. Besides, if I do less work than you, how am I supposed to boast a potlet about my skills? Huh, <laughs> that little runt? This thing we're taking apart right now, that's where she sleeps, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> really? All right, I'll give it to you. I lost this time. We all thought you were just so big t talking big, given your temper. Shouldn't you have made hurt someone else's problem a long time ago? Um, uh, my bed. Stop glaring. <laughs> my temper? Hmm. <laughs> what do you think you think I am? I took her in because all of you bet against me having the patience to take care of a kid. And I wasn't going to take that slander lying down. Look down on me again, and next time I'm back, I'll kick you a, I'll kick a ball into your face. Eh. It's mainly that we haven't seen her the last two years. We only have your word to go on. You got your treads chewed by a big Beck beast. You swapped the control valve at the last minute under catastrophe clouds to speed up your transport. You caught a passenger that got blasted into the sky by a geyser. Everything you say is like it's all happened. 
That's all actually happened. I'm telling you. Fine, it happened. Now, why did you keep her locked away in the truck the whole time? Never letting her out to spend time with the rest of us. Surely she didn't want to stay shut up in here. If that's really the case, what are you planning to do tomorrow when the truck's out of commission? I'll figure something out once I get to Carrots. The company has to give me a new route, right? You'll figure something out? Hold on. You're going to Iron Carrot City to wait for a new route instead of staying here? You're never coming back? That's sad. Hmm, this is the only one I can get. It's not quite what Lon's told me to find, but the shop said we should at least be able to plug it in. It'll be fine. It's getting dark. If I don't hurry back, and we won't finish everything that we have to do. Lon's should be back too by now. Uh, little girl, hello. You're walking kind of leisurely, not like you're trying to catch a ride. Huh? Do I look leisurely? <laughs> If I might have a little of your time, would you happen to know when the last transport to Iron Carrot City leaves? Half past nine at night. I know that route better than anyone. Oh, okay. Appreciate it, kid. Half past nine. I still have some time. He's a character in one of the other ones. I'm really worried that about Lens for some reason. What's going on? There's an old abandoned workshop belonging to the vehicle located at the city transport gateway. Its lights familiar as ever can be seen through its windows. Potlid wipes the dust off the window and peeks inside. Why would you do that? Whoa. The passage leading to the exit bears the workplace fatigue from the workers' frantic movement. All the loading get unloading they perform every day. They say the passage is old and smoothed out, just like the bottom of the tin lunchbox that the old factory director had used to wa and washed for two decades. As workers cheer on, a metal ball, or more precisely, an amalgamation of a variety of scrap metals compressed together and polished into a ball is dropped onto the smooth floor. The ball rolls forward. Oh, it's bowling! Good shot, mate! <laughs> Beautiful, and you knocked them all down in one go. Good one, Alana. Let's see, 18, 19, you're ahead by 20. How are we supposed to catch up? Charlie, you sproglet? <laughs> okay, let's call it quits while our score doesn't look too terrible. Don't embarrass the factory. All right, all right, just shut up and watch. Let me, ooh, let me show you wankers what a perfect shot looks like. Bro, what's going on? Okay. Instead of worrying about me, maybe start racking your brain to figure out how we'll decorate tonight's send-off party for Alana. First, we'll make it a welcome party. We'll welcome Alana as a proper member of the Rust Dreg Town Motor Pool family. Really now? If you don't knock all the pins down in this one go, you aren't getting another shot at it. Put a sock in it. He bends down to put the fallen pins upright and rubs his hands against his trouser pockets, his sweat leaving a clearly visible mark on the fabric. He picks up the ball, places his toes just slightly before the foul line, and stares straight ahead. Hold on. Charlie, that's enough. Huh? I'm in the lead for now, and you still have a chance to overtake me. We could put an, our argument on hold, considering the score. It should be an acceptable outcome for both of us. Let's go to draw. What do you say? Alana, forget this place. There's not a single person in all the matches ever played in the RMIA who ever tried to pull a trick like this. If I'm remembering right, we agreed that if I win, you stay. If you win, we won't keep you, and you can go wherever. And now you're asking for a draw? What do you want us to do? Cut you in half and half <laughs> one half drive your truck while the other half stays here? Or are you going to spend a half of your time on your new life and the other half with your old friends? I'll pass. I'm not like those new factory district reps. They announced their newest expansion plans at their morning conferences, supervise mine work in the afternoons, and go to the some boring social engagements in the evenings. Evenings. I have more than enough on my plate, and I can't be in two places at once. I only have enough sanity in me to hold the geared lever. At most, leaning one ear closer to the passengers to eavesdrop on their funny stories. So here's my suggestion. I'll head to Carrots to get everything dealt with. Next time I'm back, I'll talk to you, talk to you about joining the motor pool. So you're saying you're never coming back. Why? Because of our bet? Because of that little kid? Oh, Lance? Potlid? Why are you bullying here? Didn't, didn't you say you had lots to take care of? 
Uh, we haven't settled our bet, so of course I have to take care of this. Uh, Lance, you crazy sissy beast. <laughs> Potlid raises her hand up high and shoves Alana's shoulder as hard as she can. Her sleeve slides down to reveal a black, irregularly shaped crystal cluster. Not even the bracelet that Alana gave her is able to hide its luster. Hmm? Why are your friends all looking at me? They're just curious. Come, we're going back to the Ute. Ah. <sighs> oh. Whoa. What do you think? I'm willing to bet no one could tell that just four hours ago there used to be an illegal kitchen here, right? That's what you get for the best vehicle makeover hands in the entire district. It's not every day I get to put my skills to work. Yep, I really can't tell at all. But Lons, you didn't tell me you were taking it apart. Even so, it's amazing. You told me the work we had left was a huge pain. You might not finish if you had to do it all alone. Isn't that why you asked me to buy all those things? But not only are you all done, you're bowling with the men here. You're even having a lot... <laughs> A lolly water and reading magazines. Uh, <laughs> but of course. Anyhow, we only have three minor problems left now. First off, we need to use spray paint to cover up the smoke damaged wall here. Let me show you how it works first. After that, you have the f you have fun with the other two cans. I think I might have started a few too many fires. Next, we have to <laughs> power plant pipeline safety valve. Oh, I couldn't find the kind you wanted. Does it, that mean does that mean we won't be able to hand in the truck tomorrow? Oh, she's happy about that, though. Don't worry. I know you wouldn't be able to find the model that old. Huh? You see, we're getting our truck inspected and upgraded because even though all the parts are fairly new, the power plant is too old. No one cared about it before, but the unions in Big Pillar have been clamoring for standardization. <laughs> standardization. Sounds like a pretty cool word, right? You can think of it as setting up rules. The old power plant's problems don't bother me, but the union says they're switching over to the top of the line thingies and the ads for our own good. And I think they have a point. Anyway, it's because ours is against the rules that we're going to get a new one from a transport company in carrots, in carrots tomorrow. We'll be fine. Even if this valve isn't a perfect fit, we just have to have one last run. As long as it gets are you to the final destination it's more than enough and if we don't end up if we end up having to use the backup pipeline then i'll need you to help me out just like before i'll ask you to go down to the power plant to take a look at the things and you'll need to report anything that seems off right away mm, okay finally this is the decommission report we need to hand over to the station when we leave once we're gone we aren't coming back oh alana stops for a bit and glances at potlid <laughs> All these silly formalities, right? And they barely gave me a head, any heads up. I asked Thick Palm Parker to teach me how to fill him out the form, and it took two whole hours. I didn't have time to take it to the st station today. You did pretty good today, and so I'll turn in this report tomorrow morning on my own. You can stay in the tool room and sleep in. Hmm. If you're sad, it's okay to let it out we get a route change, you probably won't get a lot of chances to see your mates here, right? Huh? That's why I'll hand in the report tomorrow. That way, you can spend a bit more time with your mates, and won't be so sad about not seeing them anymore. My kitchen's gone now, but when we get to our new home, once our house is built, I'll make a sweet meat soup that'll always put a smile on your face. Huh, sounds good. Oh, you slapped my back too hard. <laughs> You're growing up, aren't you? You'll get used to it. Okay, now catch. Tonight, I'll let you have lolly waters with me. Lolly waters with me and go to bed an hour later than before. What the hell is that? A lolly water? <sighs> so tired. <laughs> <They're> just, <sighs> so tired. <laughs> but I won't get lost. I'm not a little kid. I can read a map. Yep. Tickets are in here. Go upstairs right ahead. Huh? The man from yesterday is still here? Did he miss his ride? Not only is he sitting in the same place, he's in the same pose. It looks as if he's depressed. Wow. Incredible. Oh, it's you, little girl. Good, good morning. Perfect timing. Uh, When's the earliest truck to Iron Carrot City today? At 620. I'm actually that truck's... No. 
I mean, I'm taking that truck too. Looks like I'll make it. I can take you there. That way you won't miss it. No, 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 no thanks. Sorry, I, I really appreciate it, but uh, I, I want to sit here a little longer. Are you waiting for someone? Me? No, I, uh, what makes you think that? Come, Wormy. No more talk, waiting. No more talking. No more waiting. Let's go back into the hut tonight. These things happen. Because it's a very normal thing to wait for someone. Okay, I'll be on my way. Bye-bye. I hope you'll get to see the person you're waiting for. Who's he waiting for? No, um, I'm, I'm scared to death. I don't want to see. Uh, caught us kids. I <laughs> sure run quick. I should uh, thank her nonetheless. Next, bring your documents into the office. Stands on tiptoes. How far away is the office? I can't, can't, I can't see it at all from the line. What should I do? It's almost time to leave. I don't think I'll get it handed in in time. So many people here this early. Maybe luck's not on my side. Even a big girl can't help it if she's unlucky. Non, no nonsense woman. Hey, there are too many people here. Nothing wrong with the union trying to make the event seem more above a board, but they didn't have to handle both beauty pageant re registrations and government forms in the same exact place, did they? It was almost exactly how everybody used to line up in front of grandma's room to complain. Good thing I'm taking care of this. If it had been the doctor or Amia here, it would have been a huge headache. What it, what with much, what with how much work they have on their hands? Ah, uh, Amia, Amia, she's just a teenager. Why exactly does she take so much on her shoulders? Right, little girl, you said you were in a rush? Small and wayfish as you are, you wouldn't be here to, for the beauty pageant, right? Uh, no. I'm here to hand in our decommissioning report. Here, it's this one. If we don't hand it in today, then we won't get decommissioned, right? Oh, now that's easy. Just let me take care of it. Huh? But it's our truck that's getting decommissioned. Do you know, Lance? Yeah. Nah. <laughs> but uh, you couldn't be the driver, could you? Um, no. Yep, yep. That's what I'm talking about. The report just needs to be handed in. Doesn't matter who does the handling. I need to line up here anyway. Taking your report to the office desk, there is nothing. And just leave it to me and get back to your ride. Oh, why so glum? Is there still something worrying you? Huh? Do I look? No, I can't be like this. Um, here, the report. Thanks, miss. You're too kind. This girl's condition. Here, kid. This is for you. Um, it's a card? A business card. Remember to give it to your family. It might come in handy one day. She knows that she's infected. And if it's a big cluster on her arm, then it's, like, a huge thing. Like, hurry up. The passengers will be here any minute. Ah, ah, coming. You're going to have to ride or hide in the tool room this trip. I'll be fine. Remember? I stayed in there a long time in the beginning. Also, you can still use the small little terminal here to check the monitoring screens. You can see every person on the truck. Guess I didn't have to say, huh? Yeah. All right, I'm off for the driver's cabin. Oh. I finished so much in such a short amount of time. Even though I ran into lots of trouble, and even though Lanz told me, or said there probably wasn't enough time, we still managed to get the ute into shape and hand back, into shape to hand back, and we took care of all the paperwork. Oh, the man from the station finally made it in. Thank goodness. Right, I even helped someone with the schedule. Schedule. The transport vehicle's entrance is now closed. The vehicle will soon be powered on. Please, take your seats to find a suitable area to affix your folding chair, bench, or mat. I did such a great job. I should be happy, even proud of myself. But, actually, I don't care what happens. I wish our truck didn't have to be retired. I still haven't got to see... This vehicle's being hijacked. We're heading to Grinning Valley. Huh? Hotlid looks at the display panel where the driver's cabin monitoring screen is. An unfamiliar voice heard through the broadcast belongs to the strange woman she met yesterday. She's holding Alana's broadcast mic with one hand. Her other hand is steadily holding her crossbow with his bolt pressed against the side of Alana's neck. She stares at Potlid with cold glare through the monitoring camera's lens. 
perhaps noticing the subtle movement in the shift in angle. Anyone not heading to the Grinning Valley can get off now, driver included. Huh? It's a real true truck jacking? What the hell? Is Ray evil? That was Ray, right? Yeah. That's crazy. Wait, what? I have a cruise shirt? Oh, I can max out cruise. No? Wait, what that is it then? Oh, I maxed her out, right. I'm gonna do this later, off camera probably. Get a little bit, 200 extra, I think. Okay. Doctor, let me touch your head. Inspiration can strike, you know. No. No ball. You can't do that. Oh, uh, one way tracks. A long and narrow strip of dust rises up from the sand, burying any tracks that we've left. A scene I've seen too many times to count. They call me Alana of the Barren Lands, but I'm definitely defo now unstoppable sandstorm. Just a tumbleweed that stops and goes. I my bets with the workers are staged for me to perform on, and my passengers' adventures are just more bragging fodder for me. But are those really my stories to tell? The lone vehicle sails across the land, over the ashen yellow desert sand, and under the dazzling golden sun. It deviates from its usual path. What is it looking for? Was it running from something? Well, what am I looking for? What am I running from? That's pretty. Well, that's pretty good. You can see even see the originium, originium clusters in the distance. Reckon we'll reach our destination without a hitch. Quiet again. Nothing you want to say? I've never met a passenger as boring as you in all my time as a driver. What did you say? Ah, uh, never mind. Hey, d d don't keep that thing down. Why don't you? <laughs> what are you doing? I just wanted to open the window for some fresh air. That's all. Promise. All right. Can you uh, get your big buddy away from my head first? We, we can talk this through. Continue towards the Grinning Valley, and I won't hurt you. Telling me that after hijacking my ute and pointing this toy cannon at my face. What's even the in that thing? Custom bolts. Infected creatures are afraid of them. I was hoping you'd say carrots or lollies instead. Well, no worries. I'm no infected creature, so I probably shouldn't find it too scary. But if you insist on keeping it pointed at my head... Uh, if you pull the trigger, the big if here, if I croak, what's going to happen to the truck? I could drive it. Can you now? It's going to spit out of control by the time you get your molly on the lever. It'll ch charge straight into a cliff or crash into one of those originium clusters. And then, boom! Fine. Even if you can drive and the truck doesn't go topsy-turvy. Kill me if you want, but what about the other passengers? They... Or that guy. What about that Zalek? I gave everyone the chance to hop off, but no one took it. I just need the vehicle. Don't you find it strange why he didn't leave? I'd be worried if I were you. A hit and run tear away. An unlucky fella fed up with his job. Or maybe he's an undercover copper <laughs> on your tail. Don't tell. Don't let all that trembling and shaking fool you. You might be hiding some real skills under his sleeve. Everyone's hiding a secret or two, yeah? Nah? Hmm. And if you're wondering why I'm still here as a company girl, I have to keep their property safe. This youth's been with me for an awful long time, so emotion and or logic wise, I can't just give her up to some rando blowin'. This should have been its right. It's on its way to be reborn. Should have gone for carrot Iron Carrot City, where millions of ore clus chunks go every day. Passengers would salute it when it entered the motor pool. There, it'd be remodeled into a newer, cooler version. It's all a tunnel, tunnel boring module, for example, so it can head straight underground the next time a catastrophe is a warning sounds. Ha! <laughs> I gotta thank you on behalf of my ute. The new life we were about to find in Carrots is all gone. Couldn't have done it without you, mate. You talk so much and so fast. Real what? 
What'd she say? A real bonzer? Okay. A new life? What's that about? Isn't life the same everywhere? There's nothing new or old to it. Or different. Fine, maybe you're right. You know, even having my head suddenly up against some passenger or stranger's weapon isn't anything new to me. Maybe that's something to be sad about. The truck jacker slowly lowers the giant crossbow. Why'd you respond to that, of all things? Whatever. I guess you do have some humanity in there. Though, even if you want this is this for your own free charter, Jesus. Even if you want this for your own free charter, you've got to be a bit more polite. That's how you'll make us, the people you've dragged into this, happier to cooperate with you. I didn't want to involve anyone else. I asked around, and there shouldn't have been any passengers this time. I get it. You've been planning this for a while, huh? But you're bound to have a surprise or two, even if your crime's nice and premeditated. Fine. Let's just say my upbeat you <laughs> beat up you and hit the and I hit the jackpot. When we get there, everyone's free to go. I'll pay you too. Wow, we sure hope so. Then for your private charter, we'll first go to the Grinning Valley, but you have to make sure everyone here's safe. And enough raising your crossbow willy nilly. All right, good then, Jacker. <laughs> just sit tight and enjoy the view on the way to the stop. That's funny. At some point in time, the truck gradually begins to slow down before coming to a halt. It enters a checkpoint, joining the other vehicles waiting to clear. One after the other, the truck inches forward bit by bit. <laughs> bit by bit, every time the other trucks go through the gates. Alana used to hate this part, but now she wants the traffic jam to go on for as long as possible because this way she can be even more certain that she'll get off her off-course truck back. Crowded. Huh, probably just another international entrepreneur clearing the raw materials out of the nearby mines. They must be working overtime or to deliver the goods. They spill money like water and make us road warriors suffer. Why not go another way? This road is so congested. We have to go through the green meadow if we want to get to the Grinning Valley. No choice. But they don't really check much. Just collect the toll and register a name. Alright. The truck behind needs to hurry up. The truck behind needs to hurry up. Good. That's it. Now we got no way out. The truck jacker leaves her seat, walking down the narrow corridor as if to confirm the conditions outside, and returns after a moment. On her way back, the sound of her footsteps sends Alana's heartbeat racing. Alana can only see the truck jacker's hand gripping her crossbow through the rearview mirror. The figure draped in olive shades covers all the junk <laughs> reflected in the mirror before appearing in her peripheral vision and sitting next to Alana once more. Her expression and body language show a sense of calm. The subtle noise of her clothes brushing the leather seat happens to bury Alana's thumping heartbeats. What's up? Nothing. Seems she's not on to me. Whew. Hmm. There's no way this is the only route to the Grinning Valley. This road is the shortest one, but you have to go through inspections. I got a chance to call for help as long as I can talk to the inspector. I reckon that she and her crossbow won't match up to the well-trained security <laughs> station here. Looks like a catastrophe. Huh? These vehicles all seem to be avoiding a catastrophe. Or maybe some other bad thing. Why is that? How do you figure? The scratches on their exteriors are from the infected creatures, and there's some dust. It's just a little... But I can see the particles. And the expressions of the people inside the cars, too. The mine workers tend to have similar looks on their faces after an accident. The same kind of impatience and unease when they don't know where to go. Hold up. I'll go ask. That's crazy. Hey, bro! <laughs> bro! Old bloke in the slag truck. What's with the road being... Okay, I'm not gonna try. You didn't come from the double helmet mine, did you? Nah, mate. Rush drag town. Double helmet. I remember a group of guys raving about the, about mining some new places with a ton of materials. And there was an accident. Some unstable Reginium blew the mine inside out. And now no one can stay there anymore. Ah, bloody hell. So you escaped? How are the others doing? Driver suddenly coughs violently and notices his face is unusually pale. Them, well, they'll have to count on their own luck. I just hope my wife and kid are lucky enough. 
Most of the vehicles here are probably the same as me. No home to return to. We can only stay elsewhere until they finish cleaning up the site. Alana turns back to look. The truck jacker is gazing out the side window with a calm look on her face. She was right. There was an accident. What's wrong? Nothing. They're coming. What? The grabbers. They're gonna board the truck. Who? Not a soul in sight headed our way. Alana follows the truck jacker's line of sight and finally realizes what she was referring to. A group of security officers at the checkpoint are chatting with the driver in front, while another group enters the vehicle with protective gear and violent intent. Soon after, they drag the driver out of the car. His sleeves are cut open, with blood flowing from the exposed originium crystals on his arm. Alana suddenly feels an unexplicable ease. They're searching for infected. But what about her? In the truck's tiny tool room, little pot lid is keeping her word. Hmm. That Kata's hijacker lady is so weird. But she and Lanza look pretty chummy. Did she really hijack the truck? Oh, I get it. Lanza's so powerful that she could turn anyone into a friend. Look, the monitor on the little terminal. Um, seems like she doesn't want to hurt anyone. Th then are we going to back to our route? Can we postpone the truck's retirement? I don't know. Huh? What's wrong? Just out of the blue here. But why are you in here too with me too, mister? This is a secret room close to the public. Um, well, I got a little scared. No, not a little. I'm really scared. This is my first hijacking. I just hurried to the first door I saw. Can you let me stay here, kiddo? Look, I'll squeeze myself into this corner and won't take up too much space. And I won't disturb you your work either. Uh, okay, sure. But if you're scared, then why didn't you just get off the truck before? I don't know why myself. Scared is one thing, but deep inside, I also felt a sudden relief. Um, like, I might run into something even scarier if I got off the truck. I also want this truck to go as far and as long as it can. Why didn't you get off? Me? Why would I? Lons is still here. I So there's no way I can leave her on her own. Lons, you're referring to the truck driver, right? Are you two family or family? Uh, I don't know. I left home so long ago. Lons is like... Is a little like daddy and also mummy <laughs> and, and the miners too if she's like everyone then it also means she isn't like any of them at all either right lons is lons she made a bet with her friends and i'm chip their chip so we can't be family right we just live together we've always been living together in this truck i think she's going to explain a little too much to this guy that could be potentially an officer the exit is right before her eyes, but the gates lie shut, blocking the vehicle. A few security officers walk to the cab and knock on the window. Alana hesitates for a moment, but gets out of the truck anyway. What's up, mate? Routine inspection. Do you have to inspect public transport vehicles too? Look, here's my operating license. Special circumstances. Please cooperate. Nah, that can't be right. There are so many trucks in front of us just now. But you let them all go through. Now you stop us when it's my turn? Crikey, <laughs> bloodied luck's off the charts today. What with all these nice things happening to me? Whispering, sir, don't bother with her. I just checked the vehicle's identification number, and they came from Big Pillar. You know, they've got tons of messily managed mines over there, and they don't standardize safety procedures either. Lots of infected. Your vehicle ID isn't from Green Meadow, and we inspect all vehicles from out of town. And what if I refuse? Then our well-equipped security will politely ask you out of your truck for a more in-depth investigation at your office, at our office. We might lock you up for a few days or months, confiscate your vehicle, revoke your license, and hit you with a nasty fine. The specific steps we'll take will depend on how long you decide to keep messing with me. Mate, ain't this a bit much? I've been driving for years and passed a lot of checkpoints, but this is the first... The police officers, security officers, raise their crossbows at Alana. Fine. Only the driver has to cooperate with inspection, yeah? Everybody else is passenger. Passengers? Yeah, they're all... At this point, Alana turns back, looking toward the passenger cabin's door and the situation within. Potlid's hiding good, but what about the Zalik? And the Jacker? Wait, why is she loading her crossbow? She, She's a passenger, bought a ticket. But the equipment you've got on your hands looks like it's out of regs all the checkpoints i've been through this is the first time i've seen anyone checking infection states 
If the passenger isn't willing to get checked, you'll put me in a spot of trouble. If she complains to the cooperating co or the company, enough, <laughs> enough with your guff. We're coming aboard. Okay. I have a feeling it's not going to end so well for them. The party of passengers sit next to one another with a with an orpathy screening device each on their hands. Alana is more worried about the others than herself. Potlid dips her head down, staring blankly at the device progress bar. The truck jacker looks at the security officer sitting across from her through the open door and at a very every corner of the checkpoint. The Zalek, who was unwilling to get off the truck earlier, is seated a short distance away from her, his legs shaking. Now, what's with these two in a hidden compartment? Did you know they were on board? Of course I did. And you deliberately hid them from us? That's... You lot gave me such a fright with your fierce mugs. I forgot to mention them. Haha, <laughs> I'm sure we can talk this out. Whose advice was that? What should I do? What will Lons do? A single bead of sweat drops down Alana's cheek. The security officers do not look the least bit accommodating as they surround them. Looks like things are about to get tougher. She needs to figure out a solution to this predicament. And... Quick, or else. Sir, dear, dear sir, this passenger here, she's just a little kid. She's come here to Green Meadow to your prefecture to look for her dad. I hear her father works in a smelting plant, and it's been a few, about a year since she's been home. Oh, I thought I just saw a cat. So he's been home. The walls and gates at this checkpoint, are, and even the materials used in these testing devices might be the fruits of his labor. This tiny goddess, she only gets one ride every two, maybe three months to go see her hard rocking father. She's a regular rider on our truck, and this has never happened before. Everyone usually just breezes right through here. With all due respect, sir, would you make things difficult for such a poor little girl who misses her daddy so much? There's been a flood of evacuees here from double helmet mine disaster. Our superiors expect us to tamp down the influx of infected here, so this is not about making things difficult. We're just doing our jobs. Hand waves. What are saying? Get moving. I saw it last night, Alana. Clear as day. That kid you've kept in your truck for the last two years. She's infected. No wonder you never bring her to see us. You bloody clown. Going all the way just for a damn dumb bet? Your damn stubborn competitiveness and bottomless pride. I always said you'd drag yourself into trouble like that, taking some others down with you. Wait! Uh, Mr. Inspector. Sir, we'll, we'll head right out of here. Straight back to where we came from. Right away. What do you say? The checkpoints are jurisdiction too, so you still have to comply with us, even if you don't intend to cross. Sir, I'll pay the toll, or even additional fine, or... Or just impound the ute and even drag me away. I'll cooperate with your investigation. I'm begging you, just let the kid go, please. Potlet has never seen Alana with such an expression. In their pa in their time together, Alana has always been a brave, fearless, and one might even say anarchic. <laughs> uh, she makes funny faces, blows up her past expressions, experiences, blows up her past experiences, and explodes into laughter without a care for her own image. But now she's pleading with the officers in such an unbecoming way. For Potlid's sake? Take her away. No! Fuck him up! Lons, it's okay. Don't. You don't have to see me off. I'm just stepping out for a second. I'll come find you in a bit, Lons. Any other infected? This one too. Then she goes... Where is she? A crossbow bolt flies out, interrupting the security officers preparing to board and inspect the vehicle. A flurry of additional bolts follows up, forcing them to retreat. What? The purple-haired woman! Get her! Yes, sir! A punch, a kick, a crossbow slam! A <laughs> Wait, I didn't miss- I mean, the rest of it. A few officers knocked down with the grimaces on their faces. Another volley of bolts rips through their clothes and pins them to the ground. The truck tracker steps over the messy pile of limbs until she reaches Potlid. Let's go. What? Alrighty. W wait, you haven't... Haven't... No, nothing. Get the ute started. What's the matter? <laughs> Back in the truck. Let's go. Glad I didn't turn her in. Right. What about you? Your device didn't beep, did it? Why did you hop off? Me? I, I'm a little scared. Uh, so, uh, wherever you lot go, I'll follow. You're not going anywhere. 
Huh? The officer grabs Zalek's calf, causing him to nearly trip, and he stomps on the officer's hand with balancing himself. Ah, my fingers! So sorry! I'm really sorry! Uh, we, we'll be going now! <laughs> so she's a good guy then? We're surrounded. Probably back up. Struth. Shit's escalating real fast. Uh, what do we do now? I counted more than 40 of them. The whole squad's armed with... Armed with what? I keep clicking too fast. Armed with anti-armor. That's what it was. And a thick steel gate in front of us. Oh my god, I keep burping. I have really bad heartburn right now. I ate like a... A spicy Italian sandwich from Subway, so now I'm like, I'm regretting it a little. I have no good ideas. Ideas from ideas. Actually, I have a good one. It's super risky, but I'll brag about it for years if we succeed. What? I gotta say, Jacker, this unit of mine is, ain't no regular truck. Wanna know its full name? It's called Earthrock. Excavating Bottle Tree. <laughs> Transplanting Crew Carrying Intercity Transporter. Excavating and bottle trees aside... You know the two steel beams at the rust drag town entrance? This beauty propped them up. And of course, you're looking <clears throat> at the very driver responsible. Lons, your hands are shaking. Shut it. Sit down tight. We're going in. <laughs> I like this. That's a pr that's that's is pretty. Uh, can I just is there anything we can use to patch up these holes? Feeling a little chilly. I rolls out the vehicle's exterior, funneling the wild winds from outside and messing up the Zalek's hair. Uh, now we can do. Just bear with it. I'll look for a mobile platform to get some repair materials later. Wait, why are you still here? Who even are you? Uh, I, uh... I'm just an ordinary passenger. I'm a good guy, really. Here's look. Here's my idea, Jerry, huh? But I'm afraid we don't have any use for good Jerry's right now. Don't worry about me. I won't tell a soul what happened to you back there. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. Everyone, here's an accomplice. Everyone here's an accomplice now, so no one's getting away. Got that, Jacker? We're all Jackers now. Also, thanks for that. Thanks a lot for saving Potlid. My device went off too. They would have sent us to the infected treatment zone if they took us away. But I still need to get to the Grinning Valley. I thought I heard a second beep. All right, all right. We're off to Grinning Valley now, the truck's final destination. But we might not have enough fuel for our trip, so we'd better find a mobile platform to resupply and find a way to patch up these my battered you while we're at it. Otherwise, it'll be a tough to explain to the company why I hand her when I hand her back. All right. Right. So what's your name? The miners all, all call me Ray. Alrighty, Ray. Still feel like Jacker all rolls off the tongue easier, though. <laughs> Say, Jacker, you got me a bit curious. You hijacked this ute and beat up those officers without a care. What in Tara's name are you after in the Grinning Valley? That place isn't exactly car-friendly, and I hear it's basically just wasteland ruins after ca catastrophes wrecked it. Or do you mean there might be some treasure to find there? Out with it, mate. <laughs> It'll be worth all the noise if there's something good in store for us. <clears throat> I'm looking for a huge shadow. A what? A shadow as tall as a mountain, shooting rays of light through the fog. It can talk, too. It can talk? Mm-hmm. What? What kind of bloody creature is that? <laughs> what? Coffee time. Oh, okay, that's all I have time for in this episode, so that was a lot of fun. It was sad when they were taking her away. I'm like, what's going to happen? Because, like, Ray wasn't stepping in and, like, she couldn't do anything because they had her at gunpoint. But that was really cute. I'm excited to read the rest of them. I think I'm going to do two each episode, so I'm going to record two more maybe tonight or tomorrow and then two more for the next one. Or depending on how short they are, I could just do all four of them. Um, I am out of time, though. So, if you like this video, like and subscribe. I'd love to have you guys around. Um, the series is still a ton of fun. However, I am going to be starting another series. I just don't know what game to play yet. So, if you have any ideas, 
put them in the comments. I'm I'm honestly looking for another series to start because if I play too much of this, I'll get burned out. And then there will be periods when I'm not strong enough to finish the content of the game. Like I'll probably hit a wall at chapter at the end of chapter four or something because I don't have enough uh, promotion to characters yet. So if you have any recommendations for games, put them in the comments. I'd love to have them. Or directly join the Discord and tell me there because it's easier to get in touch with me that way. And I have a Ko-Fi still in the description. You want to buy me a coffee? Thanks. <laughs> it's up to you in the end, though. So that's it, though. You better have a good night. And bye-bye.